In yoga, we look at human mind as sixteen parts. We can make this into four categories. These four dimensions of mind are referred to as buddhi, ahankara, manas and chitta. Buddhi means the intellect. Your intellect, do you want it sharp or dull? You must choose right now, I'm going to bless you. Sharp. So it's a cutting instrument. It's like a knife. Knife should be used for certain things only. If you use knife to do everything, then uh, none of you girls are like this, I'm just looking for one of you. Some… you know, if you suppose use a knife to stitch a cloth, it'll be in tatters. Sometimes I'm wondering these days your denims, maybe you're using a knife to stitch. So you cannot use a knife for everything, only for dissection you can use a knife. You cannot use a knife for everything. Right now, our education systems have become such, if they're purely intellectual, the other dimensions of human intelligence are not even explored. Everything is intellectual. So all we are doing is dissect things, dissect things, dissect things. With this we will know certain things. Suppose I really want to know you, shall I dissect you? If I dissect you, I will know the condition of your heart, liver, kidney, spleen, everything. But you will be gone. Maybe by embracing you I may know you, but by dissecting you I will not know you, isn't it? This is what we are doing with intellect, we are constantly trying to dissect everything because our entire education system is focused just on the intellect. The next dimension is called ahankara. People generally think ahankara means ego. No, ahankara means identity. Depending upon what you are identified with, accordingly your intellect will function that way. Today tell yourself, I am a woman, I am a woman, I am a woman. You will see your intellect functions just for that, that, that. You tell yourself, I'm Indian, 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 it will work just for that, yes or no? You just see the moment you're identified with something, what you're identified with always looks right, something else always looks wrong, isn't it? So this is the nature of the intellect, what is the identity? Accordingly it functions. So in this culture, we had a system, before we start education for a child, first thing is, he must say, Aham Brahmasmi, this means, my identity is with the universe. You must establish a larger identity before you empower somebody with education, because education is empowerment. If you empower somebody with narrow identity, they will do something else. See, right now what is science and technology doing? The cutting-edge science is all going to military use, isn't it? The most horrible things that have been done on the planet have been empowered by science and technology, unfortunately. The greatest gifts that we have, have turned against us simply because of our small identity. I am India or I am Pakistan, I am this or that, endlessly it is going on. It is just a narrow identity which makes a human being absolutely dangerous. You can call it crime, you can call it evil, you can call it genocide. Essentially, it's limited identity, isn't it?